Hi guys, my name is Pratik Joshi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be helping you create your own account on the MBA.com website. This is like the first step in your MBA journey where this account will help you answer the GMAT online exam, the test center based GMAT exam if you want and then finally receive your score and then send it to your desired institutions. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So there are some prerequisites before we go to the screen recording. The first one is a valid ID. So I'm using my passport in this case, but you are free to use your Aadhaar card as well. The second thing that you need are your work experience letters and uh, your stuff like the qualification certificates because they will ask you things like your GPA, which course have you studied for, which university have you studied in, then which company have you worked for, how many years you have worked for. So all that information you have to enter without any errors in the name or in the values. So please take care of that. So now without wasting further time, let's go to the screen recording. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go to google.com and then type mba.com, press enter. So uh, when you press mba.com, all these search results will appear. So out of that, you have to select the first one, start your business masters and MBA journey. This site will get loaded. This is the official mba.com website. So once you come here, click on this option right here that is create account. So once the create your, um, account web page loads you will see all of this so this is the correct web page so now uh, there are hardly five things that you have to need that you need to fill in so the first thing is uh, your first name last name email password and then confirm the same password and uh, these two clauses are already ticked in so you don't need to worry about ticking them in uh, so uh, get your id out type your first name last name as it is mentioned in the id and then uh, click on create account so i'm going to do it as well in front of you so let's go a few moments later so once you have filled out all the information then you can come here click on i am not a robot all the squares with motorcycles Traffic lights. Create account. Uh, so once you press on uh, create account, you will be redirected to this page. And now in this page, you have to create a GMAT profile where you have to enter all your personal information, your profile details, etc. So the first step is to enter all your personal details. So uh, in this case, uh, what you need to do is first enter all your personal details. So for safety reasons, please refer to your ID and then enter the details as mentioned in that ID. So even I'll be doing here, but I'll not be sharing this screen record. But once this is done, I'll be doing that. A few moments later. Okay, so once you have entered all the information and pressed next, this details will appear where they are asking for your personal information like your address your telephone number uh, your primary contact number language preference etc please enter the same things as mentioned in the id i'm mentioning it again and again because sometimes people enter what is their current address rather than entering what address they have mentioned in their id so please don't do that if there are any issues with respect to the id and the information that you have entered your profile can get cancelled i'm not really sure but why simply take the risk Okay, so uh, please fill in the information as uh, in the ID. I'll be entering that as well, but I'll not be sharing the screen record cause of safety issues. A few moments later. Okay, so after entering all my personal details like my telephone number, my address and my language preferences, I'll be uh, redirected to this profile details where I have to enter my date of birth, gender, uh, country citizenship and stuff like that so uh, let's go and answer that together so date of birth is november 18 uh, 1996 gender male con select country region citizenship okay so india First or native language, uh, actually if you want you can answer this, this is not a compulsory question so I'm going to leave it blank. Next. Uh, 
okay so once i click on next then i get to this page where i have to enter my communication preferences yes connect me with the graduate business schools who use so i have to click this is already uh, clicked in for me so let it be there uh, i would like to receive these communications via the below channels a telephone call sms so i'm not ticking on these things but in your case if you want to get updates regarding uh, uh, gmac its products services stuff like that you can select that i am not selecting it i would like to uh, receive information via email about okay so i am unticking in my case because i already have another email id which uh, receives all the information regarding gmac its products services and stuff like that this will just create a duplicate uh, email where i will be receiving all this informations again so i don't want that so that is why i am not ticking this but in your case you are free to do that so moving on to the next page click next okay step 3 now here are all the details that you cannot afford to make errors so here is first your undergraduate first degree information highest level of education attained so in my case i have done my uh undergraduate so completed my undergraduate a university degree have taken graduate courses no i have taken masters no okay so completed my undergraduate or university degree where did or will you receive your undergraduate or first university degree okay so i received it from my university which is goa uni university search so whatever it is if uh, your university if you have entered and you are not getting it when you cl click on search please make sure that you enter different um, alternatives like your college name your university name and whatever uh, university or school appears here after you click click search that should be the university which has issued you your uh, graduate certificate your uh, passing certificate so goa university has issued it so this is fine for me date or expected date for undergraduate or first university graduation i graduated in May 2018. Undergraduate major primary field of education. Okay, I did engineering. So in engineering, actually it's mechanical engineering, but then other things are not available. So I'll just say engineering. Undergraduate secondary field of study. Uh, I'm just leaving it blank. Overall academic performance. Uh, GPA in your undergraduate or first university degree. So in this case, you have to enter your GPA. Uh, but being in Goa, we received a percentage. So I have to convert that percentage into a valid GPA. So for India, the percent sixty to hundred distinction first class. So I was in this range. So I am getting a four as my GPA. So I'll be entering that. Please make sure this you are. uh looking into it correctly because any change in the gpa later or uh any errors here can cause a bit of an issue so please make sure that you do this well enter your gpa well okay so moving on we have the next profile details like work experience and other stuff so how many years of full time work experience do you have so actually i have 2 and 1/2 years of experience but then i cannot enter 2 and 1/2 so i'll go to the next uh number which is 2 uh, what functions best reflect your work experience before applying for your graduate degree uh, i was into engineering services so operations logistics sales others what industry best reflect your work experience before applying for your degree uh what function okay what industries okay so in terms of industries man was an engineering industry uh transportation telecom technology so okay technology but i'm just going uh, seeing if there's an engineering alternative health products petroleum media entertainment manufacturing investment banking uh okay so i'll go with technology Are you now or have you been a member of your country's active or reserve military forces? No, current employer or your last employer. So please mention your current or last employer without any spelling mistakes.
okay so profile details the last step where do you when do you plan to start a graduate management program so this is basically when you are planning to start your mba or your studies in management so last time also i had done the same thing so this time also i do the same thing i'm not decided as of yet which year i'll be taking admission so i'm going to plus undecided where would you like to study how you may select up to nine regions so this is up to you wherever you want to study please click on that uh, for time constraints i'm just pressing undecided what kind of graduate management degree are you interested in you may choose up to three choices so obviously i am in my case mba uh masters in management masters in finance that's all uh how do you wish to pursue your degree so in my case uh, i would go for uh, on campus program do you want to earn your degree as a full time student do you want to work while pursuing your degree i mean it depends person to person for me currently i have not decided so i have click on undecided what area of concentration would you like to pursue so in this case uh, i would like to go for marketing so i'm just seeing if i'm getting marketing here yes there is marketing what function best reflects what you would like to do after completing your degree you may only choose up to three choices uh after completing so i would like to get in somewhere into marketing advertising brand management uh maybe even finance why not and i don't know i'm just giving two choices here what industry best reflects what you would like to do after completing your degree so for industry uh, maybe construction real estate may, why not consulting services uh, uh, investment banking okay uh, choose whatever you want whatever you wish for uh, uh, i don't think this has something to do with your choices or anything but then it's always better to answer what you feel um uh, rather than just clicking on whatever like randomly so once that is done press next okay so uh, for verifying the profile i am not scrolling down because all my personal details you will be able to see so uh, please make sure you verify your profile properly because any mistakes here then you may have to contact the gmac customer service and stuff like that so please make sure you have checked everything uh i'm going off the screen record to check my details so in while in while i do that please make sure you do that as well a few moments later okay everything seems good uh yes so i'm going to press on save profile once i click on save profile if i'm not wrong i am going to be removed out of the website let's check okay so i'm just shown a summary so this is also i'm not sharing the screen recording because of safety issues so once everything is done once you're satisfied with this page click on next so according to my knowledge we'll be thrown out of the mba.com website and we'll be asked to sign in again uh let's just see oh um actually it's not done like that we are directly redirected to our main account uh last time i was thrown out so uh, and i had to log in again but this time nothing like that directly they show me my profile so my profile 81% is complete so the rest 19% i think is all the information that i have decided like clicked on undecided or i have not chosen to answer like my first language my native language second language all stuff like that so uh, make sure if you are interested you click on that otherwise 81% is good enough uh so yeah that is it so this is what you will get after creating your account so congratulations you have created your uh, account on the mba.com website so now you are free to register for gmat online exam or the test center based gmat exam so uh, that is all for this video guys thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you like what i have done in this video don't forget to like this video and if you want similar videos in the future as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll be seeing you for the next video so until then be happy stay safe and all the best for your prep